Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. It's a beautiful 70 degrees outside. And thank you for watching this clip on finding polynomial coefficients. I used to love this one because this one has a lot of math in it. And then they're all intrigued in and they're all fitting together, kind of like jigsaw puzzles. And when you solve it, you go, wow. OK, so let's go through this one. When they tell you that this polynomial has root, by definition, then it's conjugated, it's also a root. Okay, it's kind of like a twins, evil twins. Maybe this is a pretty twin and this is the evil twin. Nonetheless, they are twins. So right away we know that x minus 2 plus i times x minus 2 minus i, when you multiply this one, is a factor of polynomial. Okay. If you can get to this step, I would say 50% it's done. So next thing we're going to do is let's simplify this a little, bit, a little better. This does look pretty ugly. Now, over the years, I found it a trick. I mean, you can expand it out. Then you have a lot of terms, and they kind of get messy. However, if you notice this, and then uh, this one of the first term is minus i. And then math actually helps you. Notice this term and this term is the same. If I call this one as a, I call this term b, then it's a minus b here, okay? Then a plus b here. And guess what? That is a beauty in that it's a squared minus b squared. Okay, so basically this one, without too much of expanding term by term, which I don't know about you, would drive me nuts, I would know this one is equal to this minus i squared. If you don't believe me, by all means, expand it out and do the labor intense method once, then you appreciated this one. Anyway, for this one, I know it's a squared minus 4x plus 4 minus minus 1. So I know that x squared minus 4x plus 5 is a factor of this polynomial. In another way, in order to find what's left over, well, fortunately, you guessed it. We do have to do long division. I know a lot of students, when they hear long division, the back of the neck of their hair just stands up. I don't blame you. When I learned it the first time, it is tedious and it is hard. But you know what? It's one of those things you just have to do, kind of like brushing your teeth or floss your teeth. And my favorite lately is the contact lenses. I wear contact lenses. It's a pain in the butt. I don't blame you. Anyway, nonetheless, like I said, it's something we have to do. So let's get to it. I'm writing this one in there. The reason I'm doing long division is that I know this has to be a factor of this. So whatever is left over got to be equal to 0. Okay, And that's where I'm going to get equations for my a and b, because after all, I am looking for a and b. Now let's get started. So since there's a three terms here, the first term I'm going to put it over here so that I don't run out of spaces. Or actually, in our case, if you start putting over here, you're going to have a lot more empty spaces, which makes me nervous when I say empty spaces. But anyway, so the first term goes on there is x. Then I have x cubed minus 4. Let's do it slowly because I often make mistakes and I hate it when I have to go back and redo it. And then plus 5x. Okay. Now remember here, we're subtracting this thing. So one thing I always do is I verbally speak it out, so slow down myself. x cubed minus x cubed goes away. ax squared minus minus becomes a plus 4x squared. Okay. Next term, plus b minus 5x and plus a. That does look pretty tedious, but bear with me. We're almost there. Next term, I'm going to a plus 4 because I still have to match the first term over here. So a plus 4, the whole thing times x squared, I have a plus 4x squared. Okay, next one, I have minus 4 times a plus 4x and then one more time, plus 5, a plus 4. Ah, very unpleasant. Okay, now this term goes away as I design, or as the long division works out. 
Now this term, now remember here, we are doing the subtraction. So let's read it out. B minus 5 minus minus, that's plus 4, A plus 4. The whole thing is the x to the coefficient of x. Plus A minus 5 times A plus 4. Oh, what a bore. Okay, now, since we know this one is a complete factor of this whole long polynomial, this one has to equal to 0 because I don't have any remainders. That, by definition, gives me my first equation. Yay, a minus 5a plus 4 is equal to 0. Then a minus 5a minus 20 is equal to 0 minus 4a is equal to 20, or a is equal to minus 5. All right, sigh of relief. We got our first answer. Uh, I think I'm running out of space here. Hopefully you can see it, a equal to minus 5. Okay, now I'm going to substitute in here and find out what a b is. b minus 5 plus 4, a is minus 5 plus 4 equal to 0. Once again, I'm setting each one of the term equal to zero because this one is a complete factor, which means I should not have any remainders. All right, so B is equal to, uh, let's not jump ahead. B minus five plus four times minus one equal to zero. So B minus five, hopefully I'm running out of space. B minus five minus four equal to zero, and guess what? B is equal to nine. And I believe those are the correct answers mentioned in the question to begin with. So a equal to minus 5, b equal to 9. Phew. Okay, so that's how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. I would love to hear any comments you have for this video. Let me know if it helped you or if you liked it or any other comments you have. Until next time, have a confident day.